Scott Shannon has been part of the fabric of New York Radio for the better part of four decades. Morning Drive won't sound the same without him. CBS FM, Shannon in the morning. Scott Shannon's baritone beams across the tri-state area on yet another morning. Three hours commercial free, starting in mere minutes. Shannon and his longtime friend and sidekick Patty Steele invited me into their studio on Hudson Street in Lower Manhattan. 32 different beers and you have to judge each beer. Whoa, you're going to be slush. This is Shannon's natural habitat. For most of his 75 years on Earth, he has been on the radio. It's a two-way relationship. When we crack those microphones in the morning, we're talking to our friends. That's why the thought of tomorrow, when Shannon and Steele will broadcast their final big show together, stirs such emotion. And all of a sudden, I don't have anything to prepare for. Oh, this is Scott. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't sound like you. Where'd you come up to the community bulletin board? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mark. What do you want? In 1983, Shannon brought his boisterous, brash morning zoo format from Tampa to Z100 in New York. His sound was edgy, revolutionary even. But the question back then was, would it work in a new city, one that by his own admission he knew nothing about? It started with a newspaper writer for the Daily News who wrote a, a big column after he listened to the station he said I hope Scott Shannon's got a round trip ticket back to Tampa Florida because this is not gonna work it did work he took Z100 from last in the ratings to first in just 74 days a feat chronicled in the recent documentary worst to first the true story of Z100 that was up against Imus and Jim Kerr and all these other great radio personalities and we just flew right by him from Z100 Shannon made a stop in Los Angeles before returning to New York to work at WPLJ and then CBS FM over the years, he hung with rock royalty. Elton and Ringo and Kiss and Bon Jovi and Rod Stewart. Like them, he occupies a place in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. He is a rock star, like in, in every sense of the word. He made things go viral before there was an internet. You know, he, he, he created standards that people put into play all around and reverberated around the entire country. Thomas and Shannon have become so close in large part because of their involvement in the annual pre-Christmas fundraising broadcast from Blythedale Children's Hospital in Valhalla, a place that Shannon has helped raise more than four and a half million dollars for through his radio benefits over more than three decades. Fittingly, Shannon and Steele will broadcast their final big show from Blythedale tomorrow. I'm glad we have the children to focus on on that day because I think that'll be a really beautiful send-off for us. A send-off that signals the end of an era. Terrestrial radio wouldn't be what it was without a handful of people, and Scott Shannon is one of those people. Radio is such a personal medium. It's like a warm blanket on a cold night, a friend who keeps you company when you're lonely. So what happens when that friend leaves? One guy uh, wrote and said, you know, you have become such a friend to me over the years. I don't want to lose my friend. Would it be okay if I reached out to you occasionally on Facebook? And I wrote him back and I just said, you're the reason we do this. Please reach out to me. After tomorrow, Steele plans to turn her focus to podcasting. Shannon will keep grooving on his weekend countdown show on CBS FM. I'm sure at that last moment when I hear him say, bye buckaroos, that probably will be more difficult for me than I'm letting myself think about right now. We do love you for listening to The Big Show and bye buckaroos. Shannon has retired before, only to come back. He didn't rule out pulling a Tom Brady, as he put it, and unretiring again, although he said on this morning's show that you won't hear from him for a while. He's going to take some time off to relax. Bianca. <laughs> wow, okay. Certainly Brings back it. a lot of good memories. All Rosanna, right? he said to say hello to you. Yeah, he, please give him my mm, best. Hello. Scott, if you're watching, congratulations. Yes. Good luck on the new chapter. And enjoy, enjoy your time off, because I know mm -hmm. that's, that's probably much needed as well.